Hey there, movie buffs and nostalgia enthusiasts. Do you remember those cozy evenings huddled around the television, the warm glow illuminating the room? Can you recall the feeling of anticipation as you tuned in, perhaps with a bowl of popcorn in hand? Ah, yes, we're diving into the good old days, back to 1975 when Rooster Codburn graced our screens. Do you remember watching this classic film? Did you cheer for John Wayne as the iconic Rooster Codburn or fall in love with Katherine Hepburn's indomitable spirit? Maybe it was the wild, dusty landscapes or the thrilling adventures that kept you glued to the screen. We're all ears and eager to hear your cherished memories of this unforgettable cinematic journey. What were your favorite moments, beloved characters, or even the stories of how you stumbled upon this gem? Share your experiences and let's reminisce together about the magic of Rooster Codburn. Now, as we settle into the warm embrace of nostalgia, let's sprinkle in some intriguing random facts about the show that might just surprise you. Stay tuned for a journey down memory lane, filled with captivating tidbits that will make you see this classic in a whole new light. Get ready to dive into the past with you's it's going to be one nostalgic ride. And as we embark on this journey, remember, the best stories are the ones we share. So, spill the popcorn, hit us with those cherished recollections, and let's celebrate the timeless wonder of Rooster Codburn together. Rooster Codburn, a 1975 film directed by Stuart Miller, is a classic western that serves as a sequel to the beloved 1969 film, True Grit. The movie features iconic characters like Rooster Codburn, portrayed by the legendary John Wayne, and Eula Goodnight, played by Katherine Hepburn. It continues the story of the cantankerous U.S. Marshal Rooster Codburn, who is tasked with helping a missionary, Eula, and her companions retrieve stolen nitroglycerin. The film's unique blend of action, humor, and character development showcases the enduring appeal of Wayne's Rooster Codburn, a role that had become synonymous with his career. The movie's impact on popular culture can be seen in the enduring fascination with the Western genre and the memorable performances of its lead actors. Rooster Codburn remains a testament to the enduring charm of classic Westerns and the indomitable spirit of its titular character, making it a must-watch for fans of the genre. In 1975, the movie Rooster Codburn hit the big screen but it didn't receive a warm welcome from critics. Many of them thought it borrowed too much from The African Queen, a film from 1951. They also felt that John Wayne and Katherine Hepburn were a bit long in the tooth for their roles. Some argued that the movie lacked the freshness and charm of the original True Grit, in which Wayne had previously portrayed the character Rooster Codburn. Additionally, plans for a third Rooster Codburn film, titled Someday, were shelved. The decision was influenced by the moderate success of this movie at the box office. Paramount Pictures also cited John Wayne's age as a factor, as he was getting on in years, and audience interest in westerns was on the decline. Interestingly, a notable moment in the film came from an unused line of dialogue in the novel True Grit. The conversation between Rooster and Wolf about the small gun he lends him was taken directly from the source material. Despite its initial reception, Rooster Codburn remains a part of John Wayne's filmography and a point of interest for fans of the classic Western genre. The 1975 movie Rooster Codburn is known for a few interesting details. Although it was promoted as Rooster Codburn, the opening credits of the film give the title as simply Rooster Codburn. This might have caused some confusion for viewers, but it's how the movie's title appears in the film itself. Another intriguing fact is that John Wayne and Katherine Hepburn referred to Struther Martin as old man in the movie. However, despite this, Struther Martin was actually 12 years younger than both of them, which goes to show how convincing his portrayal was. Towards the end of filming, John Wayne fell ill with viral pneumonia. This illness was severe enough that he declined to promote the movie, claiming he was still ill. This likely had an impact on the film's promotion and release. These tidbits of information add some depth to the behind-the-scenes story of Rooster Codburn, making it more than just a classic Western film. It's a reminder that things don't always go as planned in the world of cinema, even for legendary actors like John Wayne. So, whether you remember it as Rooster Codburn or Rooster Codburn, this 1975 movie has its share of unique facts that make it a notable entry in the world of film history. 
In the 1975 movie Rooster Codburn, Richard Jordan, one of the actors, made an interesting admission later on. He revealed that he intentionally overplayed his role in the film because he believed the movie was going to be a flop. In his view, if anyone paid to see it, it would be solely for the two stars of the film, John Wayne and Katherine Hepburn. Jordan also expressed a belief that Hepburn's health was precarious, feeling that she might pass away at any moment. Ironically, Hepburn outlived him by a decade. John Wayne, who starred alongside Katherine Hepburn in the film, had great admiration for Hepburn's determined nature. He recalled her fearless attitude during the filming of the movie, especially in challenging mountain locations. Despite not being an experienced horseback rider, Hepburn boldly mounted the horses and gave her all. Wayne noted that they had a skilled female stunt rider on set for her, but Hepburn insisted on riding herself, saying, She doesn't sit as straight in the saddle as I do. Interestingly, Catherine Hepburn also wrote a magazine piece about John Wayne, filled with admiration and affection. She described Wayne as a complete package, from his big head to his sharp wit. She marveled at his physical attributes, including his broad shoulders and massive chest. Hepburn even confessed to leaning against him whenever possible, likening it to leaning against a great tree. In Rooster Codburn, these behind-the-scenes insights into the actors' perspectives and their unique dynamics add an intriguing layer to the film's history. It's a reminder that even in the world of Hollywood legends, there are personal stories and connections that enrich the cinematic experience. This has been a glimpse into the fascinating anecdotes surrounding the 1975 movie Rooster Codburn, showcasing the candid admissions of its stars, Richard Jordan and John Wayne, and the heartfelt appreciation that Katherine Hepburn had for her co-star. Such insights remind us of the human aspects behind the silver screen. In 1975, during the filming of Rooster Codburn, John Wayne, the legendary actor, faced some challenges behind the scenes. Wayne was injured while teaching his eight-year-old daughter to play golf. Fortunately, his character's eye patch concealed the mark, keeping it out of the movie. John Wayne had also been dealing with health issues for years, working with only one lung. This made breathing difficult, especially at high altitudes during filming. He often had to use an oxygen mask to help him catch his breath. Interestingly, John Wayne initially wanted Ingrid Bergman as his co-star in the film. However, he later suggested that the character should be made younger, and Mary Tyler Moore was cast instead. Wayne was concerned that audiences might not be interested in a movie where both stars were elderly. Another notable change in the cast was the role of Chen Li, Rooster's Chinese companion. H.W. Gim, who originally played the character, had passed away in the years between the original film and Rooster Codburn. Tommy Lee took over the role, but sadly, he also passed away the year after the film was released. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the challenges and decisions that shaped the making of Rooster Codburn, a film that remains a part of John Wayne's iconic legacy. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey that is Rooster Codburn, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of nostalgia and contemplation. This 1975 classic, with its rugged charm and indomitable spirit, has etched its mark on the tapestry of film history. But what lingers most is not just the film itself, but the memories it evokes and the emotions it stirs within us. Take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with Rooster Codburn. Perhaps you were captivated by John Wayne's iconic portrayal of the one-eyed Marshall, or maybe it was Catherine Hepburn's feisty and resilient character that resonated with you. Did you marvel at the breathtaking landscapes of the Wild West, or were you swept away by the film's timeless themes of justice and redemption? This is your invitation to share your thoughts, your cherished memories, and your unique perspective on Rooster Codburn. What does this film mean to you? Was it a part of your childhood, a bonding experience with a loved one, or simply a source of inspiration during a challenging time? Your story is a part of the rich tapestry of this cinematic masterpiece, and we'd love to hear it. Let your voice be heard, your memories shared, and your love for Rooster Codburn celebrated. Your stories, whether big or small, are what keep the spirit of this film alive. Thank you for taking this reflective journey with us and for sharing your thoughts and memories. It's been a pleasure to connect with you through the lens of this timeless classic. With warm regards.